Hey guys, it's Robin, our Silent Crafts, and welcome to my craft room. We're still working on our crumb series of making crumb blocks. Today I'm going to show you a little bit more piecing and how to take some of your smaller blocks and add them to bigger blocks. And I'm also going to show you a, and it's not actually a cheater, but a little bit of a shortcut way on how if you don't have a lot of time or you don't have a lot of larger pieces, like say you want to do it like my style and you don't have pieces this large. I'm going to show you how to piece them all together and how you can make your blocks grow really quick. Alright, let's get back over there and start doing some more piecing. Once your pieces start getting larger like this, then we're going to start matching up similar pieces that are about the same size and we want to stitch these together. At this point you can decide do I want to put them together this way or would I prefer to put them together this way? It's a total judgment call, whatever you feel like at the moment. Now this way you can see they're just not exactly the same length, but what we're going to be trimming off here is just a small smidgen bit, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. If we had to trim somewhere along this section, you really wouldn't want to because that's a really narrow section, but up here we have plenty of room to trim off. Sometimes since this piece has a large chunk on the bottom and the top, sometimes I get really crazy and I just kind of average the distance and put it in the center. Easy peasy. Once we start getting to our larger pieces like this, that's when I bring over my six and a half inch ruler and I like to keep this set over on the right hand side of my machine. And as I bring the blocks up, I'll take my piece and I'll lay it on my six and a half inch ruler. Now this one, if I line the block up exactly on this edge, you could see there's just a little bit of ruler left over there, probably about a quarter inch. So even though this block is close to being in size, I like to have all of them oversized so that when I trim them down, in this instance, every block will be six and a half and I won't have to worry about different sizes. So I will take another piece that's at least a half an inch or an inch that it's going to be larger than here. And I have the extra space over here to trim off on this side. And I have the extra space over here to trim off on this side. So that's what I do it there. And then of course, you have to add a piece down to the bottom because this one is a good uh, inch and three quarters short. So that's my process here. Once again, I have a pile of pieces that are about this size and a pile of pieces that are about this size. And what I'll be doing now is I'll be stitching all of these pieces together to get them larger to this size. Got like I said, this is just basically building blocks. As you start putting small little pieces together, they get bigger and then they get bigger and bigger until you get to the size you need. Some people like to take a whole bunch of these little pieces and just sew all these together so you're never quite getting to the larger pieces of fabric like this. But like I said in the beginning, I don't mind. I like to use the larger pieces. I can actually see what the fabrics are there in my quilt. And then I can remember more like, oh, I remember I've made a lot of stuff with this uh, Winnie the Pooh fabric. I've made dresses and pillowcases and stuff like that. This one's in my daughter's quilt. This is just a fun one. This actually is fabric I do not like, that I just cut it up into strips randomly and add it into projects like this. So I'm not throwing away the fabric, but it's getting used and I don't really see it. It's gonna be small. Even if it's in bigger pieces, in the overall quilt, I'm not gonna see it. I'm just gonna see that that's blue. As my blocks are growing and growing and growing, sometimes I need to add some longer strips of pieces and maybe I don't want to add one full solid piece. Maybe I want to keep with the integrity of having all the different pieces mixed in in my block. So one of the tricks I do is I just take a whole bunch of pieces. Now you could take them that are a lot narrower than this, but I try to keep about maybe a two inch width for my blocks. And I just stitch a whole bunch together and I make sure one edge I keep trimmed up. For me that makes it easier to lay against the block and I have a straight seam. 
Now my block itself might not be straight, but at least when I'm stitching it on, I'll have a nice spot. I can take my block and lay it here, and I can take my strip at any section and just lay it on, stitch it on, and when I fold it over, voila, I'll have a larger block. And when I stitch them together, I like to do the chain piecing where I just lay this piece down and I just stitch, I just keep laying my blocks on top and I stitch them all like this. Now this is a great way to get a crumb block without having to do all the extra work. You can work this similar to courtyard steps or a log cabin block where you can take all your scraps if they're a similar size and stitch them all together in a long chain like this, like you would for say binding or something. I just stitch mine, you know, side to side, no problem. And then you can stitch it on this side. And then the next time you can stitch it on this side or directly across. And it's just a good way when you have the small center block and you just keep adding these on and your blocks will get larger pretty quick this way. Because as they get to six and a half inches, you don't always have long strips of scraps because most scraps tend to be smaller than six and a half. And I like to build my blocks up to at least six and a half inches because I find a three and a half, four, four and a half, they're just too small. Now you could make, I guess you could make several three and a half inch crumb blocks and then stitch the three and a half to the three and a half and work your way that way. But the way I stitch mine, it just doesn't seem to ever work out for me that way. So it's just one of my processes. I kind of like it. it, makes it go quick. I hope everyone's been enjoying this series so far. I've been having a lot of fun getting all the pieces together. And I hope I've made it um, clear enough that everyone can kind of figure out how to make their own blocks. As you can see, it's really more of a freeform way of sewing. You can, it's going to be individual based on how you want your blocks to look, what your scraps look like, and how much time you have. But as you've seen today, you can kind of speed up the process a little bit with some chain piecing. I hope everyone's been able to take at least a little bit of information from this series and help them make their blocks. I should have one more video in this portion of the series and that will be how to trim your final block and you know of course it's just really simple you just put a ruler down and trim it but I want to show you and talk through the way that I work through on how I want to trim my blocks because there are a couple things to take into consideration when trimming them hopefully that video will go up tomorrow which is happy Easter and happy April Fool's Day, whichever one or both, however you prefer. And then after that, we're going to take a few days off and recoup, let you guys get caught up to me, and then we'll start putting all our crumb blocks together and into, for me, it's going to be mini wall hangings. But just to keep you going and to give you something a little different today, this is what I'll be working on while you all are watching these videos. I've gone back to my EPP Samoyan stars quilt and yeah, I've been having fun hand piecing these back together You'll be seeing more of these in the future Enjoy your videos and enjoy your day. Bye If you like this series, please go ahead and like the videos and subscribe and if you want YouTube to let you know Anytime I put up a new video click that little bell down there and YouTube will notify you Have a great day. Bye